One of the most important weapons in the Game of Thrones universe is a dagger made of Valyrian steel known as Cat's Paw. This dagger has been in the most important moments of Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon, but its origin is a mystery. For some it was the creation of one of the ancestors of Aegon the Conqueror, for others it is a piece of a weapon that protected humanity. Today we are going to talk about the mysterious origin of the Targaryen dagger. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. To understand the origin of this weapon and how it will affect the future of Game of Thrones, we must analyze the times that this weapon affected history. The Cat Paw is the name given to this weapon. It was first seen in Game of Thrones, when an assassin was hired to end Bran's life. But the wolf saves Bran's life. <laughs> Caitlin took the dagger and gave it to Roderick, to verify its origin. Roderick notifies the Starks that it is a very rare and expensive weapon for an assassin to have. Did you notice the dagger the killer used? The blade is Valerian steel, the handle dragon bow. It's too fine a weapon for such a man. Someone gave it to him. It is made of Valerian steel and dragon bone. So they suspect that this weapon was given to the assassin by the Lannisters. Littlefinger convinces Caitlyn that the owner of this weapon was Tyrion Lannister, and that he had ordered Bran's death. This weapon then passes into the hands of Littlefinger, who has it for several years, until he finally gives it to Bran. Bran then takes the dagger, and gives it to Arya to defeat the Night King. Ironically, the weapon that almost ended Bran's life, ends up destroying the leader of the White Walkers. But, this weapon was not only important in Game of Thrones, but it seemed to acquire more importance in the House of the Dragon. Although in Game of Thrones the origin of this dagger was unknown, in the House of the Dragon it is explained how this dagger belongs to the king, and how it is passed from king to successor through generations. Also, in the House of the Dragon, this dagger played a leading role, since Viserys tried to end the life of his brother Daemon with it, after he tried to seduce Rhaenyra. You are a plague, sent to destroy me. Also, Alicent used it against Rhaenyra. <laughs> and we saw how this was one of the weapons stolen by Aegon, the Usurper King. But undoubtedly the most important moment of the entire Game of Thrones universe in reference to this dagger, is when Viserys reveals to Rhaenyra the secret it hides. When he tells her that this dagger once belonged to Aegon the Conqueror. This secret, it's been passed from king to heir since Aegon's time. It was a dream, just to begin with a terrible winter, gusting out of the distant north. And whatever dwells within, will destroy the world of the living. And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. Strong enough to unite the realm against the cold and the dark. Viserys' words hide too much within them. The first thing he reveals is that this dagger belonged to Aegon the Conqueror. Before it belonged to him, it belonged to Enar. Who is Enar? Enar Targaryen, known as Enar the Exiled, was a noble and dragonlord from House Targaryen of the Valyrian Dominion. He was the father of Dhenys the Dreamer. As the story goes, twelve years before the destruction of Valyria, his daughter had a vision of its destruction, and for this reason they escaped from this city. Enar was born in Valyria 127 years before Aegon conquered the Seven Kingdoms. Since Game of Thrones takes place almost 300 years after the conquest, this reveals the dagger to be at least 400 years old. After Enar escaped with his family to Dragonstone, he inherited his dagger for some reason to Aegon, the first of his name. Who would later become Aegon the Conqueror? Aegon contacted the last pyromancer of the city of Valyria, and asked him to engrave on the dagger his vision about the end of men. 
It is from this moment that the dagger begins to pass from king to successor. Of course, we could say that this tradition, as far as we know, began with Enar. But was this dagger really created in Valyria? To understand this we must transport ourselves to our world, and what has been mentioned about the importance of this dagger. In the books, although this weapon does exist, it still does not have as much importance as it has been given in the series. We do not know if the dagger and its prophecy will be an element that will also be shown in the books, but we know that it is one of the elements which will unite all the series of Game of Thrones. According to several producers of this series, the dagger came out in Game of Thrones to connect elements from both series. But, if the origin of this dagger is as I think, we could see it in almost every Game of Thrones series, because I think this dagger is really thousands of years old. According to the religion of the Lord of Light, long ago in the known world, a great darkness engulfed men. When extinction was almost upon them, a man emerged known as the Azor Ahai, who with his sword, the Light Bearer, defeated the darkness. If my hypothesis is correct, the Targaryen Dagger, or Cat's Paw, is a piece of the Light Bearer. But what is the origin of the Light Bearer, and why do I think it is this weapon? This weapon was created during the first long night, and its creation was not a typical one. This weapon was forged during a ritual. Azor Ahai needed to forge a hero's sword. He worked for 30 days and 30 nights until it was finished. However, when he went to temper it in water, the sword broke. He was not one to give up easily, so he started again. The second time he took 50 days and 50 nights to make the sword even better than the first. To temper at this time, he captured a lion and plunged the sword into its heart, but once again the steel shattered. The third time, with a heavy heart, since he knew beforehand what he had to do to finish the sword, he worked for a hundred days and a hundred nights until it was finished. This time he called his wife. He plunged the sword into her chest and her soul combined with the steel of the sword, creating the light bearer. Azor Ahai sacrificed the woman he loved to create this weapon that would defeat the darkness. This is one of the reasons why sacrifice is typical for this religion. But if this story is true, the light bearer sword was created through an enchantment. It is a magical weapon. If indeed the Targaryen dagger is a piece of this legendary weapon, this would explain why Bran gave it to Arya to defeat the Night King, as it is an enchanted weapon used to defeat the darkness. It was already used in the past and then used again with the Night King. Now, it has long been mentioned that the Light Bearer is a sword that ignites in fire, similar to the one Beric used. Perhaps his weapon was the Light Bearer, but I think the story of Azor Ahai is really full of metaphors, and the Light Bearer could be a description of the purpose of this weapon. To defeat darkness. If this is the case, the origin of this weapon would be based on a tragedy thousands of years ago, but thanks to that sacrifice, darkness has been defeated twice. But tell me what you think about all this. Is the dagger really the mythical light bearer sword? If you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on the Three-Eyed Raven. The secret been passed from king to heir since Egon's time. It was a dream. Just to begin with a terrible winter, gusting out of the distant north. And whatever dwells within will destroy the world of the living. And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne, strong enough to unite the realm against the cold and the dark.